Hello, I'm Hallgro2. Welcome back to my studio. It's my 25th instructional DVD and we're going to continue on with the uh, landscape painting series and recreate this 8 by 10 inch piece that was completed a while back. So today the palette we're going to use is going to consist of some titanium white, some uh, lamp black for some of those real dark areas, the standard uh, burn umber, ultramarine blue, and then particular to landscape painting is this uh, blue green called Viridian Green. We'll use a little bit of that and some of the uh, leaves and rocks and then our lemon yellow. And then we have uh, yellow ochre, which is a darker yellow, a medium red, which is uh, close to a blood red, and then a darker red called a lizard and crimson. So with these, we'll uh, be able to work with the landscape. In terms of the medium, I'm going to work with uh, refined linseed oil, which uh, will uh, stay wet for quite a bit of time and allow us to work Ella Prima wet into wet. I love this stuff. I'm going to take some of the uh, linseed oil and just pour a small amount, about a quarter, into this little aluminum uh, reservoir, one of those clip-on uh, reservoirs. So with these uh, shots of light, you want to put the paint down pretty chunky and thick because what's underneath is a little bit wet and so we want these strokes to sit up on top without intermixing too much. So noticing light sitting here. When I put the stroke down I want to let some of the darker stuff to show through. In some cases I can use like little pointless strokes to suggest like maybe clumps of leaves and chunks of dirt. Like maybe a few little dabs right up against that little fallen tree. Believe it or not, what we're doing now is very similar to, I mean, the idea of painting shapes in between the foliage. So like over here, I can take the pellet knife and sort of scrape into it. And maybe drag it down, take a little bit off bring it down here, just in a few spots. We want to make sure this light's higher key. When you work with light in the front, Well, we're approaching the end, and uh, during the final touches, you're going to see me use this uh, very fine double O brush to uh, suggest some little fissures within the stones. So I'll take my arm and rest my hand on my arm, and pretty much any dark will work for these very, very fine, fine lines. So up in here, there's a few brambly little 